Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. All right, so this week, let's go ahead and cover how to service our batteries. Now, for a lot of you, you're not full-timing, so you actually put your rig up. The question is, is what do you do with your battery that's inside your rig? So let's go ahead and cover that, but also I'm going to cover how we should service these at least once a month. Now, all batteries, whenever they're fully charged, they give you about 12.7 volts. But the old adage is true. If you don't use it, you lose it. If we just simply let this battery sit in its state, it will lose roughly about one volt per month. So it's important for us to keep a charge. How do you do that whenever you're winterizing your rig? Well, if you can set your rig up close to your house or if there's a power source, go ahead and hook that up. The onboard charger will take care of the battery. It's actually the best way to do that. But let's say you got your battery in storage or something like that. What you need to do is do a lot more than just simply do your battery disconnect, okay? Your battery disconnect does not charge this battery up. What we wanna do is take the battery off and we wanna put it on some type of trickle charger. Now, trickle charger is about two amps or less. You can get that with just a small charger. Make sure that it says two amps or less and match the voltage to your battery. You wanna make sure you get a 12 volt um, charger if you've got a 12 volt battery, okay? You can do that or you can go solar. If you're out in, a, in an area where there's a lot of sun, you can get you just a small battery minder, you know, something like 10 watts or less and actually hook this up to your battery so you can get a constant charge. The worst thing that we could do to our batteries is simply take them off and leave them out, especially if they're not fully charged. What will take place is the electrolyte inside will begin to crystallize, fall down, and we won't get much life out of that battery. So a couple things that we wanna do before we charge it up. We also, every month, wanna go ahead and check our fluid levels. Now, it's something as simple as getting some distilled water. And of course, we'll just get a battery filler. Now you can get your old school turkey baster, get one of those. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the caps off. Now, to take the caps off, you'll need a screwdriver, some safety gogglers, and of course, some gloves. We're dealing with battery acid. Now, here's the thing. I know most of you don't do it, but since I'm talking about it, I know that a lot of you are going to say that. So we want to put on our gloves, put on our safety goggles. We're going to take a flathead screwdriver. If you have a serviceable battery, and you will know that because of course you've got your battery caps up top. Go ahead and take those off. Now, if your battery is not serviceable, you won't have those caps, you're good to go. You don't have to do much. So if you've got an AGM battery or um, um, a gel type battery, maybe even if it's lead acid, it'll just say that it's not serviceable. Great, you don't have to do much other than charge it up. But if you have the serviceable battery where we take these caps off, we wanna go ahead and fill those up. Now we don't wanna put water all the way up to the top of the cap but you'll be able to see the cells inside and you'll want that water to go just to the top of the cells. Again, you could take your battery filler, get distilled water, pull that water out of the distilled water and fill up each cell. Now, once you do that, your battery charge is actually gonna go down just a bit because you're introducing new water. We'll put your caps back on and then of course, introduce your charger. Now, if you keep that on a slow trickle charge, your battery will work out great for you. Give that Keep that going until it's time for you to go ahead and put that back in the rig and go ahead and get it started. Now, of course, you want to go ahead and clean that, but it's as simple as that. I know that you don't need much training on this, but here's the thing. Hardly any of us ever do this. The more we use our batteries, the more we actually want to check our fluid levels and make sure that they're good. The less we use our batteries, the more we need to keep those on a charger. So if you're not using your battery, keep it on a charger. If you are using your battery quite a bit, make sure you're checking your fluid levels, and go ahead and put that distilled water in there. Check it once a month. That's your tech tip. Um, we just want to congratulate Todd for making it through a tech tip to, to <laughs> a tech tip Tuesday without messing up. So there's no bloopers. A first for me. <laughs> Almost. Well, well actually, it. you did have one blooper, and it's right here. If you have a serviceable battery, a service, <laughs> you keep that on a sl uh, slow. Uh, Thanks for coming to our tech tip Tuesdays. And uh, we appreciate all the views and uh, congratulations, Todd.